What's going on, fam? It's your man, Vay KJ, and yes, <laughs> we got a brand new Raku spiritual from Elder Mother Supreme. Man, hilarious, fam. Oh, man. This one definitely was a heat up episode, episode 16 of Tyler Prairie's Ruthless. Yes, we see Malcolm's next move, and oh, yeah, we see the beginning of the cat fight of the century we've been waiting for. Now, before we get started, make sure you check out all my episode recaps so you get caught up on everything so you don't miss anything. So let's get into season three, episode 16 of Tyler Perry's Ruthless. So the name of this episode is Lessons Learned, and it reads, River is hesitant to visit an injured Lacey. Zane tends to the camp's guests, and after a day spent as Malcolm's hostage, Ruth devises a plan that unleashes Marva's fury. So where do we leave off, fam? Of course, we left off where Malcolm had your girl Ruth, had her behind the fence with the strap on and talking about, yeah, you're going to get me out of here. What's going on with this fence? You're going to help me. And he is just definitely upset, but he's all like drained and, you know, he's starving. He's not really thinking right. And she's like, listen, you know, I could help you. You know, I could help you get out and everything else like that. He's like, really, you're going to help me? You're going to help me get out? He's like trying to figure out how he's going to get out of there. And yeah, you know, Ruth, she seems really, really scared right now. She's like, listen, you're going to get me an outfit. We're going to get out of here. Yeah, we, we're going to make this happen, right? So they're walking and there's people walking around. I don't understand why they don't see that, yeah, he has her, you know, has the strap on her, right? And he's like, who is that? Who is that? It's, like, it's just people. It's just people. It's like, well, you know, where, where could we get an outfit? She's like, yeah, right over there. And they're walking and people are looking at Ruth and she's like, yeah, I'm just taking him to the highest. It's OK. Like, it's OK. Like, come on. That wouldn't alarm you. Here comes Elder Mother Marva Supreme. And she is like, what is going on? What is going on? And yes, Malcolm pulls the strap out. And she's like, oh, she's like, oh, she's like, listen, you know, go get the keys. I need you to go get the keys for this man. He's like, I want you to get the keys right now. She's like, what? I'm not scared. Like, she's not scared of Malcolm, even though he got the strap. He's like, listen, I will kill you. I will kill you, right? And she's like, I don't care about that. I spit on your, I spit on your gun too, <laughs> right? So Elder Mother Marv is not scared. And he's like, well, you're not scared. You must be crazy, right? And Ruth is like, yo, just go get the keys. Like, go get the keys. He's like, oh, I, I don't care about that. I don't care about that. How dare you, boy? How dare you? And she's like, go get the keys, elder mother. Marva, stop playing. And she's like, no, no, no. Okay, I'll go get the keys. And then Rufus is like, no, no, no. I'll get the keys. You know, take her. Take take elder mother Marva, <laughs> right? Malcolm, you take her and I'm going to go get the keys for you. And she's like, no, no, you need to be protected. You are the highest, the wife to be. And he's like, what? You're the wife to be, huh? You told me you were nothing to the highest, huh? Okay, okay. She's like, I'm going to get I'm gonna get the keys and I'm coming back. I'm going to come back, right? So, yeah, you know, Ruth is like, what? She's like, yeah, I'll be back. And she walks away all slow. Man, Ruth is shocked and she's pissed off at the same time because she knows, like, Elder Mother Marva hates her. And yeah, she told that to Malcolm. Malcolm's still trying to figure out. But here comes Elder Mother Marva Supreme. All the night, all the day, we are living in a Raku way. <laughs> we got a brand new Raku spiritual from your girl, Elder Mother Marva Supreme. And she is so happy because she wants Ruth to be dead by this... This person is FBI guy. So she's just happy because she wants to get rid of Ruth. And what's the best way to do it by having FBI get rid of her? So she's walking and she sees another elder mother. She's like, hey, elder mother, how you doing? She's like, yeah, I'm just taking it easy. About to go cook the food for, you know, the men and everything. And why don't you come with me? You know, she's like, you're such in a good mood. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. It's just a great Raku day. She's just praising the Raku 
because <laughs> Malcolm has Ruth. Oh, man, it's crazy. So here comes your boy, River. And River is on some like, hey, what's going on, Zane? What's happening? She's all happy. She's like, listen, thank you. It worked. It worked. He's like, really? It worked? Are you serious? He tried it and you put the, the pencil sharpener? He's like, yeah. It cut him and everything. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm so happy. Yeah, he tried to put it in me and he just got cut. And he was all like screaming and yelling and everything else like that. And she's like, listen, you know, Lacey is in, you know, the infirmary. I need you to go check on her. He's like, nah, that's not a good idea because, you know, it is not going to look good for me. She's like, you know what? Forget it. Forget it. He's like, wait, wait. So Zane goes into the kitchen and Elder Mother Mom is mm, putting a spell on the food for the guest. So Zane goes in there. She's like, Elder Mother Mom, she's like, hey, did you put the salt on, you know, Lacey? Like I told you, she's like, yeah, I did it. I came here to get more uh, salt. And she's like, oh, you're so mean. She's like, I did something wrong. She's like, no, no, no. And she's just proud of Zane and Zane is playing her. But here comes Manny <laughs> limping. Into the kitchen because Elder Mother Marva calls him. And Zane is looking like she's trying not to bust out laughing because <laughs> she knows what she did to him with the pistol sharpener. He's like, listen, boy, you know, I need you to go to the store and everything. Are you OK? What's wrong with you? He's like, oh, something's wrong with my leg. It's a little stiff. And Elder Mother Marva's like, listen, you know, I can take care of that for you. I can take care of that for you, boy, you know. He's like, no, no. She's like, you know, I know how to. You know, take care of the stiff things, you know. <laughs> oh, my God. Ellen Mother Marvel always looking for, you know, to get down with somebody, right? And yeah, <laughs> Zayda's trying not to laugh because she knows what's going on with him. She's like, you sure? Because you know I can take care of that. I was a nurse. She's like, no, Ellen Mother Marvel. She's like, all right, you go off, run along, boy, run along. <laughs> Zane is looking and trying not to bust out laughing because she know he she knows he's hurting right now. So Elder Mother Marva is just like, yes, we're gonna do what we gotta do for Lacey. So here comes River. You know, Zane pretty much guilt tripped him into going to check on Lacey. So he goes in there and he's like, Are you okay? You know, and she's like, You can help me out. You know, they killed Oliver, and you can help me. Help me get out of here. He's like, no, nah, that's not a good idea. That's not a good idea. You know, um, didn't the highest kill Oliver right in front of you? She's like, yeah, he did. And really, I don't know why River went up in there. He just went in there to check on her. And she is just like, yo, let me out. Like, let me get out of here. Like, help me get out of here, River. You know what I'm saying? You got the highest ear. So help me get out of here. Like, why are you hesitating? Like, we could easily get away. And then, because he doesn't help, she's like, get out of here. You're just in here to get information. Get out of here. And guess who shows up? Elda Mada Marva Supreme. She's like, what are you doing here? Oh, 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 I just came here because uh, I was looking for you. And, uh, uh, you know, something's wrong with my leg. So Elder Mother Marva's like, are you a man? He's like, yeah. It's like, well, tell me when it doesn't hurt anymore. She's like, I'm not helping you. <laughs> it's like, get out of here, River. <laughs> she doesn't like River either. So your girl, Elder Mother Marva Supreme, is like, I'm here to check on you. Are you OK? It's like, no, no, leave me alone. It hurts so much. Da, da, da. It's like, yeah, yeah, I know. I know. She's like, oh, the drama, the drama. <laughs> I want you all to notice this, though. Look, right behind Elder Mother Marva, they got a list of the deserters and how they died. That's crazy. Right. So, of course, Lacey's like, yeah. She hits Lacey in the wound, you know, where the salt is. And, of course, this hurting her so bad. Like, Elder Mother Marva, she is just so terrible. And, of course, Lacey is crying. But she's like, you know what? I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. I'm ready to come out. But Lacey's like, get up. Get up with the handcuffs and everything. And Elder Mother Marva is just laughing. And then she hit her again. She's like, I come back for you. And she's screaming. She's like, cut. She's like, shut up, I didn't even hit you. She's terrible. So here we go, back with Malcolm and Ruth. And Ruth sees that he is very confused. Ruth sees that he's not well. Ruth sees that Malcolm is like trying to figure out how to get out. It's like, what about that fence? It's like, oh, it's electrified. Can't get over it. So Ruth says, listen, I'll go get you an outfit, right? An army fatigue soldier outfit so you can walk right out the door. 
She's like, you'll do that for me? You know, Ruth, when you look at Ruth's face, you could tell she's coming up with a plan. She's trying to get out of this situation. He's like, really, you're going to help me? Why would you help me? Why would you help me? Well, I got kids here, and I just want to get out of here. And he's like, well, you know what? Bring me your kid, and then I'll let you go. She's like, I wouldn't do that if I could, right? She's like, I'm not going to do that. This is your final offer. This is how I'm going to help you. So, again, she's looking at him. He's confused. He has no other options. And Ruth is going to devise her plan to get away from this guy and get him done, like taken care of, right? So you see Malcolm is going through it. He's trying to figure it out, but he has no other options. She is basically controlling the narrative, controlling his thoughts at this point. He has nothing else. He has nothing else. So now we see your boy, Manny, hurting, hurting, hurting in the back of the side of the bus. Here comes little old nosy River. <laughs> and he knows what's going on because Zane told him. He's like, brother, are you okay? Man, that looks terrible. That looks terrible. And Manny's like, what do you do? Walking around looking at men's parts? Like, what's wrong with you? You're just pathetic, man. You're just pathetic. He's like, man, I would go to see Elder Mother Marvel. You don't get that stitched up. You know? He's like, I don't want to have to tell her what's going on. You know what I'm saying? He's like, well, just tell her you had a knife in your pocket. And you fell on your knife. You had two knives and you fell on your, you fell on it. You know, that's what you tell him. So, you know, he's trying to help him out, even though he's making fun of him at the same time. And Manny's like, listen, man, uh, can you do it? Can you, you know, stitch me up? <laughs> you know, and he's like, nah, man, I told you what to say, man. Just go see Elder Mother Marvel, man. Like, stop playing. I'm not trying to stitch you up. He's like, nah, I don't want to do it. He's like, all right, you know, good luck to you, man. You know, suit yourself. He's like. River, river. <laughs> so Zane goes out to take the food to the guests, and your boy Lewis is like, "Yo, how did you do that?" She's like, "Did what? You know, how did you, you know, cut Manny like that?" So of course, you know, now Zane got a little rep. He's like, "Yeah, I want to know, you know." And she's like, "Listen, I'm blessed by the highest. I'm blessed by the Raku, you know." And she's like, "Yeah, that's that's what's going on. Why, why you want to try?" You want to try? He's like, girl, you better get up out of here. Take that food over there to the guests. Like, get up out of here. Don't be asking me none of that stuff. And she's smiling at him because now she knows she got a rep and that no man should ever try to mess with her. All right. So now here we go with the couple. Boy, they are happy. They're like, oh. And Zane brings the food. And she's like, oh, OK, I'm Zane. Here's your food. All right. And then, yeah, you know, Laura's like, hey, oh, man, this looks good. Oh, yeah, it's just uh, jerk chicken, the curry. You smell the curry. She's like, yeah, she's Jamaican. So he's like, OK, wonderful, wonderful. All right. You guys enjoy your food. She's like, listen, tell me, you know, what is what is it like in there? He's like, Zane is like, what do you think it's like? Oh, you know, like Coachella, you know, like <laughs> Woodstock <laughs> and stuff like that. She's like, nah, it's not like that. It's more spiritual, you know. Zayn is just going in, telling all the good stuff about the Raku. But she walks away like, these mother mothers need to run right now. Like, she, they have no idea. So they're looking at the food, and they about to eat it. They don't know what's in that food. They don't know what elder mother mama put in that food. We're like, yeah, let's get it in. You got Jamaican food with no cocoa bread. What's up with that? <laughs> anyway... <laughs> So Ruth is walking and River rolls up to her like, yo, what's going on? She's like, listen, I got the keys for this man. You know, he's an FBI agent. He's trying to get away. But first, I need to go slap the taste out of Elder Mother Marvel's mouth, right? He's like, oh, I need to go see that. He's like, listen, I need you to go get an outfit, right? Because he needs to get an outfit. I said I'm going to help him. He's like, what? What are you talking about? We need to get this money first before you let FBI agents walk out the door. She's like, I'm not really helping this mother mother. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make him think I'm helping him. And then I'm going to take him out. You know what I'm saying? But before I do that, I need to go slap Elder Mother Marva and you go get that outfit for me. Right? So Elder Mother Marva's in the kitchen singing along with the other Elder Mother. Right? And your girl Ruth comes in. Boy, she is furious. She's about to get it popping. This is the main event we've been waiting for. And she slaps Elder Mother Marva in the face. Blow. <laughs> Elder Mother Marva turns away, turns back around. And she's like, you think you playing with me? You think it's a game? Right? She is mad at Elder Mother Marva. She's like, who do you think you are? 
and she is like, I am Ruth. You think you evil? You think you're dark? I'm going to show you dark. She's like, who do you think you are? I don't care about that. You have no idea. And she's like, nah, you have no idea who I am. I am Ruth. You want to know power? Uh, you want to know about it? I am ruthless. And Elder Mother Marva is standing there shocked because she's never seen Ruth like this. She's like, I am ruthless. Right? All in her face. Saliva spit coming out of her mouth. And she told the uh, other elder mother to go and hold Ruth. She's like, touch me if you want to. I will beat the taste. I will beat you too, right? <laughs> they about to get it on. They going back and forth. Look at Ruth's face. She's like, listen, you try to play me with this FBI agent happy at Strap Point. You are out of your mind. This is it. It's the main event. We about to get started. Yes, Ruth and Elder Mother about to get into it, boy. Oh, they about to start fighting and scrapping right there in the kitchen. Ruth walks out to handle the rest of the business. And yes, Elder Mother Marva is cursing her out as she's walking out the door. The other Elder Marva is just like, oh my God, oh my God. And yes, Elder Mother Marva Supreme is pissed. <laughs> Well, we shall see what happens in the next episode of Tyler Perry's Ruthless. Man, this one was definitely good. Oh, man, I'm loving it, loving it. Listen, fam, if you're loving this episode, you're liking this episode, definitely hit that like button. And if you're finding me for the first time, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Definitely hit the like button. And absolutely comment below. Let me know what you thought about this episode, fam. Man, this was definitely a good one. Yes, we got a brand new Raku spiritual. Are you going to sing it? <laughs> Look out for the brand new highest supreme chocolate. You'll see that soon. All right. Again, if you love this video, like this video, definitely check out this next one right here. I appreciate you all for watching. And until next time, salute.